coming. I'm so happy for you guys to be here. Awesome. So, this show that we're going to tell you, we are going to tell you a fairy tale in Shakespearean language so that you can follow along. And this will kind of help you get a feel for what's going to be happening on stage during the actual performance. So, without further ado, actually, with a lot of ado about nothing, I hear what I can say. We'll start with Ashley. In time past, though not long ago, there lived three pigs, short in stature, and number three, who being of an age both entitled and inspired to seek their portion, did set about to do thus. When they traveled the distance, pig numbered first spake, saying, Hearken, brethren, heed this tempestuous realm, tarry me long from hearth and home, we shall fare, I fear, not well. And so, <laughs> being a collectively agreed but individually impelled, the, diminu the diminutive swine set out each to construct for himself an abode. Pig number one did construct his house of straw. Pig number two did likewise, though so not from straw but from sticks. Meanwhile, unique in his imaginings, pig number three did erect his domicile, starwood, and garret structure from brick entirely. Soon, there happened along as frequent the scenario of classic protagonist pig or red footed child, a wolf. Carnivorous nature in full season, he called out to the straw and stock swine, saying, Pray for me, grant me entrance. But Pig One called, with sage foreboding that he is mad who trusts in the tameness of a belly pinched wolf, and responded immediately, Nay, it shall not be, not by wit, nor whiskered jowl. Prepared for this most expected response, the wolf replied immediately, Then still I serve little pig, forthwith shall I endeavor, employing means both puffing and puffing, to dismantle yon flaxen fortress. <laughs> Whereupon there issued an exhale of gale proportions, that quickly renders straw hovel to drapes and drops, and carry off pigments and shattered quarters both. <laughs> Pig one then fled to the stick festooned sanctum of Peccary Secondary. Whereupon Pig two did cry in dismay, Well, this not my niggers. The marshalling of fellow wolf to my doorstep is nowhere among those endeavors a minimal nor congenial. A thousand pardons, will one, to it seem the beast made from breath has perched me of hope and sound judgment alike. The mighty maelstrom of the wolf's exhale. Splattered second swine's shaft and shortened sanctimonious scolding simultaneously. Lo and behold, squealed too, stand we now amid wooded wreckage, tremulous and vulnerable with many very strategy for ensuing canine devour, looming in deadly proximity! Strategy! Squealed one. While it is noble to contemplate tactical peculiarities, pressed as we are with the time restraint, in forbidding detailed strategical conversations, I would urge we run! Say what? 
sinister hiss of the wolf could again be heard outside. Ravens, grant me entrance. The wolf, school one and two. Wolf, said three. Well, what do you suppose he wants? He seeks to gain purchase within. Indeed, he would occupy this very outcome in which we have afforded the most meager of opportunities. Right. I'm just going to go ask him what he wants. Under no circumstances, squealed two, flinging self bodily over the portal. There is none to be gained to cost external opponent, save our immediate demise. What did you say about my mama?